Good day viewers, we're well, found this in a VCR power supply. This is a STR F6652, which is a quasi resonant flyback driver. It drives at a transformer on a switch mode power supply, and apparently, this can supply the right frequency and current handling capabilities to drive a flyback transformer. Just gotta find and design a circuit for it. Meanwhile, I'll give this thing here a test on the ignition coil. I've found a polarity positive and negative. You can see how this little multiplier circuit works on here. I'll get the schematic to that, which is in the, the box. I'll take a good photo and put it into the video. Because someone suggested I can easily modify this to drive a flyback. But why I only have a MOSFET to handle the frequency switching? Because I don't think that ignition coil driver is going to do it. It might overheat. So, let's give this a test. Okay, the has got my ground connected. So I don't get feedback, because this is going to be a live circuit, I don't want to get feedback and getting shocked. So I'll connect it up. Well, look at that. There's still a voltage in there, so that's capacitor based. So I've got to discharge that safely before I handle it, or I'll get a shock. There you go, the spark that jumped off that. Hey kitty. There you go. Keep those flyback multipliers that come with those AC flybacks from these older TVs. So definitely worth keeping. Look yeah, that spark that jumps on that. Maybe 15 millimeter spark there. Hear it hissing. Make sure it's completely discharged before I touch it. Hey kitty, let's try a light bulb. Okay, if you want to see what it does with that light bulb, here's a blown light bulb. Cool. No jack is ever affecting it though. Fill them with a distorted bit. No, no, um, plaza ball effect. There you go, look at that. Shake that bit of broken filament off, we'll try and get it so it's not, um, going straight to ground. I'll see if I can get it to, uh, get a jack of that effect in there. There you go, burn that filament off. What's left of it. It almost worked like a checkers letter. Ah, nothing to it, just need that one. Let's try something else. Okay, viewers, this one we tested this flyback. Found the primary that's the right polarity. Just happens to be the right polarity in this circuit board here. I've got the wires the right way around. Yeah, that's a 33 ohm. 5 watt resistor on this um, potentiometer. It's in series of that. So let's hook this up. Hmm. 
that pink wire went to the focus controls originally in the TV. I still got the potentiometer there. The potentiometer for the focus is a high voltage potentiometer. So that'll be useful. Bloody beeping in the background. It's a piezo speaker. I'm gonna go and get it and show you. One centimeter sparks. Disconnect. Alright. Yeah, it's. Transistor's nice and. Uh, yeah, it's not under any serious stress. It's warm, but not dangerously warm. The resistor's doing as it should. I've got this bloody Chinese counterfeit mobile phone calculator. You hear that? I'll just sit it here. You hear that beeping? The piezo speaker is picking up the interference the RF this is given off. So you, have, you can have an AM radio, you tune it in the static and that will pick up the um, RF coming off this as well. This is kind of doing the same thing. Sit that there. And it should pick up the interference. My isolated primary windings that I round are getting sparked too. Camera probably won't pick it up very easily. Disconnect. Discharge, safety first. Okay, that's discharged. Let's try my reprojection TV flyback. Okay, the flyback's hooked up in the right way. Okay, everything's connected. Nothing shorting out. Now go to this phone. That's what the that beeping was coming from over there in the background. I don't know if the camera picked it up before. And that went to the focus controls too. I had to cut that off because the potentiometer um, without plugged into the moulding. There was no plug that came out. Like this one here does. It's a permanently moulded in. Fair art core is getting live too. Yep, I got the ground pin right. Yeah, it's running quite happily. Nothing hot. That seems to be its peak. It peaks out there. That's the most I can get it to go. Look at those little sparks. I'm not very good at bloody building ZVS drivers and that, so... So, I'm going to take a photo of the schematic for this and put it into the video. Very X Live. That's not. Alright, disconnect. I'm gonna get the 90kV, um, the little splitter that these come with, so it splits the output into three separate CRTs. I'm gonna get that and see what that does. Yeah. Just under no stress. Ballast is working okay. It's not that hot either, so it seems to be working quite happily.
there is more splitter. Goes in, out, out, and out. It's always handy to keep these little things. Got a molten gunk, molten flame all over it because of the projection TV it came out of. The the horizontal shot it out and the burnt traces out and the board over ramping and it caught fire. So there's all this molten foam gunk everywhere and it just sticks to your fingers like crap. Yeah, I don't know what that wire, like what that wire is for. Plugged in the summer on the board, so it must be voltage regulation or something. That's insulating, so it's not enough to break the insulation on that. So it must be at least 40 kV. I think this is rated to 50 kV. Then again, I can hear static and corona, so it might be a little over 50 kV going through this uh, flyback. Just no current. Not, not the right frequency to really get anything spectacular. That little wire there. not quite as um, performing quite well when it's straight off the end of this, so either way, it's capacitive, you can hear it, discharge that, so there's capacitors in there, that must be the modern, equi modern, modern day equivalent to one of these, so I'm guessing that's what that thing there is, it's capacitor based, set to go into one tube, it goes to three of them, there you go, you learn something every day. I'm going to try and work out um, this other flyback I've got, got the pin out, that is, and get, see how that one air performs on this. Okay, I've done some probing with a multimeter. After checking with the, uh, checking confirmation with other flybacks, that measures the same resistance, so that's the um, priming. It's about 1.7 ohms, just like the other flybacks were. So I wired up, uh, found the ground wire, or the ground pin. It's a lot quieter, this one. Little spark and they got your focus and screen control potentiometers. It's a fairly modern flyback. Corona. Highest frequency there. Got a smaller spark on this one. Let's try another resistor. It's like a little Geiger can, it beeps. Alright, let's try put another resistor in series. Have a little experimentation going on here before I um, end the video with a schematic. Alright. Not a potential order in series. 
Can't fade from the right either. Oh, so they just lit up. Battery? Nah. That bypasses it. Oh. That'll be enough for now. I want to start learning how to drive those bloody things properly, so discharge, safety first. Thanks for watching.